Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Rome 2. Here today, we're going to be starting episode 3 of my Rise of the Republic DLC campaign as Syracuse. We are playing as the Tyrant Dionysus. So guys, if you're still enjoying this series and would like to see more, the best way to ensure more content is to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, let me know in the comments, feedback and suggestions. Feel free to leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series, of course. I've got to say a huge thank you to the Creative Assembly for providing me with a free early access code to Rise of the Republic. So massive thank you for them for making this campaign possible and their community manager, of course. Please do take into consideration as well, I'm using an early access build of Rise of the Republic, so there are things that are subject to change. In today's episode, we're going to be pushing north against Agragon. I think that's how you say it, or Agron, Agragon, Agragon. <laughs> oh, God knows with some of these Greek names. We have Dionysus here, keen and raring to go. So I have skipped a little bit ahead. Simply because we needed to consolidate. We hadn't had a time where we sort of sat down, pretty much pumped our entire wealth into our economy and built up. So that's what I've gone and done. I've built up Syracuse quite significantly, and I've also built up Geller and whatnot. We now can construct new buildings, and we can recruit hoplites. We currently have, what, two, four, six, eight hoplites. We can't get cavalry just yet. However, looking at my mercenary recruitment pool, I managed to get some mercenary equites. These are the elite Roman cavalry. They are costing me 380 per turn, which is about twice as much as what my horse archers are. But cavalry and having them is just such a tactical advantage I can't miss out on. In saying that, it has been sort of offset by we've got four units of elite hoplites here. Sinnings. Oh, okay, it's only by 30. I thought it was a bit more than that. Regardless, four units of light hoplites to flank while my front line pins them down, and we have four units of Sicilian archers. Pushing down to, uh, what's this guy's name? Azus! <laughs> That's it. Azus, one of my family members. Uh, well, not one of my family members, one of my other nobles to be precise. He has an army on the border here, and we're going to be declaring war against Agragon and hopefully trying to make myself the supreme ruler in Sicily. So guys, if you can remember in the last episode, we had a civil war, quickly dealt with that, easy peasy lemon squeezy, nothing too interesting to take note of. I haven't actually played Total War Rome 2 since this new political system has been um, sort of released and it has been tweaked since the Ancestral update as well. So I had to quickly learn it. So basically here is your loyalty and you can either secure it, purge it, and then you need to keep an eye on this, or otherwise civil wars can happen. So the chance of a party to secede, 0%. Now, I completely neglected and negated this <laughs> for like the first episode, because I didn't really realize it was that much of a concern. But I will need to keep an eye on it. And it's also a little bit sort of different, seeing I haven't played this in a while. I'm sort of used to Total War Attila. Now, I do want to equip colonists at some point. These are some of my government actions. We can send expeditionary forces. This is one of the unique mechanics as Syracuse. Gather able men and send them out to explore the seas. Hopefully, we'll find rich lands to settle. Depending on which territory you select for the founding of a new colony, you will receive a faction-wide bonus and a strategic resource. The effect will last 12 turns. Now, it costs a whopping, like, 4,000? So I would like to do that for the purpose of this Let's Play, but we'll just have to see. We are still currently at war with the Carthaginians. Whoa, have they taken... Oh no, they've pushed into Sardinia. They still don't want peace. So if you guys can remember in the last episode, we pushed down to be aggressive against the Carthaginians. However, we were baited by the fog of war. We had to quickly flee back. We did destroy a full stack and then we had to deal with our civil war. But now it's time to attack uh, Agragon. We could potentially betray Agragas as well. The Carthaginians haven't come back to this isle and we've got some pretty good line of sight here. So we've got a navy here as well. I swapped out one of my Admiral units for a Catapult for free, which I found was quite insane. So we've got 10 units here in Motia. We currently have two uh, faction, two settlements on the 
west coast, and we're going to be declaring war against Agragon here. Diplomacy-wise, we still have a defensive alliance with Acragas. Hopefully, they join our side as they do have one with Agragon here. We currently have a defensive alliance with these guys here. Crotona and Taras don't mind me overly too much. Carthage still seems to hate me. Okay, we're going to put money back into the economy as well and just continue our progression. I think we're turned 36 into our campaign. Objectives-wise... We need to hold the entirety of two provinces. Higher knowledge. Higher education, sorry. Ironic. Um, <laughs> 3,000 there. Uh, build a library, okay. And then we've got some ultimate objectives. So, what's the military victory looking like for this? 45 settlements. Uh, Roma, Carthage, Italy, Greek, Bastia, Giant, Bastilla. Right, okay. So, here's some of the military victory conditions. Once I take the entirety of the island of Sicily, I will send some ships out to see how the other the kingdoms are going, because really we have no idea how big Rome is, or how big the Senones are, and how uh, Brunus is going, or whatever his name is. Brennus, that's it. So, we're going to war deck Agregat Ag Agregon now. Now, we're going to be able to attack them in one turn and siege. You might be thinking, Simpsy, how can you do this without any siege equipment? Well, we have a massive mercenary pool as the uh, as Syracuse. We've actually got some factional mercenaries. However, I am going to recruit a giant ballista, and then I'm probably going to disband it. This is a walled city, and yeah, there's no way we can attack in one turn. So, they do have a large army here on Forced March, a 5-star commander, 12 units, so we might have to sacrifice our Eastern Kingdoms, uh, which is okay, I guess. We could maybe move my navy there. No, it could get destroyed. But we basically want to try and carve up this part of the Empire. So, let's move my spy somewhere. Actually, let's move you... Oh, actually, I want to get the Ballista first. We'll pay for the Ballista. Perfect. And now we'll try and use our sabotage. We do have trade rights and a wounded. No! My spy is gone. We do have diplomacy with them. We've got a trade agreement, non-aggression pact, and military access. I'll accept a military alliance. Bend the knee and join with me. Look... How about you? So be it. War will be declared. Let Zeus and all the gods smile so, will Agragas Agri join them? Or me? Allies have refused to join their side. Agragon has no allies. War has now been declared. We're going to move up a Zeus now to start the siege. Perfect. We are quite outnumbered, as you can see. We're going to continue the siege. The alliance has been broken. We're going to bring up Dionysus now. And that should massively swing back into my favor. As you can see, it's probably 80-20. Now, should I play this battle? Look, Senex, we've sort of gamed it a bit here by war decking them and getting that mercenary ballista to attack him in one turn. We're actually going to be favored to order resolve this one than actually fighting on the field of battle. Arrow towers are basically like machine guns in this game. So if I can lose about half of what the enemy deploy, I would be happy. Because I reckon we would lose more than what? Would lose more than half our army. So what are the odds we're sort of looking at? Just go with the balance. Look, we will have a battle in today's episode. I will try my best. There's definitely that 13-man uh, unit hanging around there. And I'm sure they've got more guys up in the north. So we're going to auto-resolve this one. And we've taken Agragon now. We lost 1,362. So, about half of what they deployed would be 1,150 ish. So, we lost a little bit more. But that's not too bad. This army didn't suffer any casualties. Wow, okay, but this army took the brunt. That's okay. Let's occupy now. And we've taken Agragon. That's going to massively help us out. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to disband this, this ballista unit. Because, as you can see, most of these cities don't have walls. So we're not going to have to siege them out. Okay. So, I want to bring 
Dionysus into Agragon here to get the full amount of replenishment. I'm going to get Zeus to bring in his units as well. How... Okay, the archers weren't knackered whatsoever. So let's bring those four in. And we'll leave it like that. So this army's keen and ready to go. We can't push down here and hit anyone else? No, okay. Okay, so let's dive into our diplomacy. Not really much else we can do. We probably could get some more mercs if we really needed to. Or we might be able to quickly raise an army in Pano. Maybe I could get one of my oppositions to be here. One of my political members. Because it's like, if we can get um, Para in, uh, that might be worth it. Where is he? Para. Raise army. We might be able to get a small force. We might be, we might be able to kill him off. If this army does attack Panoramos. Panoramos. Let's do that. Let's bring him in. It's going to cost us money, though. That's all right. We'll pop you in here. And we'll get a... How many militia can we get? We can get two lots of militia. And a slinger. We'll just get the two militia. I reckon that's all right. So this might... What we want, to, what we want this to do is to come back. We want to fight this on the field of battle. We don't want this over here pillaging and raiding my lands. If I can take these territories quicker than what we can lose these, we'll be laughing. We'll be fine. Right. Let's chuck a quick save now. Let's end the turn and continue. So we've got some unassigned stuff to do here with you. Okay, well, let's just quickly chuck you into Commander. And with Zeusy Boy here, let's go with uh, Spears. Because that's definitely what we need. I'll put in the description below the Steam page for Rise of the Republic. If you want to check out any further information, maybe read more of the uh, what this mod has to offer. We've got refugees. We shall accept them. And if you want to see, if you want to, oh, okay, right, so they have come in here. If you do want to know more about this mod, I explained it a lot more in the first episode. So they've pushed me here. Should I just quickly spam some mercs? Because we might be able to get a decent amount. That's 400, 400, uh, 300, 300. The upkeep is what's going to get me. Latin warriors there. That's not too bad. Look, we're going to be able to massively start progressing against the enemy. So let's push down to, to Katan. Katin. Katani. Oh, that's all right. We're still in... It's still going to be in our favor if I push you up. Katani. I think that's how you say it. Okay, so what's this? 95. Yeah, we're better off not playing this one. Perfect. How far can you push north? Not quick enough. Okay, so that's massively increased this as well. Should I just sort of spam a Merc army real quick? My concern is the upkeep. Yeah, Sicilians aren't really going to cut it. Uh, the cheapest swords that we can get is some Samnite blokes. And those Axemen. No, a bit of getting Samnite. And maybe some Latin. So get some Latin. Maybe get some tribesmen. And then get some Sam Knights. Three. That's going to massively cook our economy. Because what's... Yeah. But it would stop this coming. It would stop this coming. Let's just go one at a time. So let's tie this. Oh, it's not too bad. Not as bad as I thought. Was that higher? No. What? Does that math not add up? Maybe that was for all of them. 500 for some veterans. Sam Knights. Right, 300. And it's cost 300 per turn. No, that's about right. That's about right. That's right. Let's get another unit of Sam Knights, or maybe we should get some archers. Some slingers to mix up the variety to give us a better auto resolve. Uh, let's go with some archers then, at least one lot. What's my tax rate at? It's already at max. Look, I don't reckon we can do much better than that. We could very well recruit our own. 
That would help us more so. We could get like another lot of Sicilian guys. Could get another two lots of them. Hmm. I'm just wondering what I'm best to do. We should be right. Let's get one more of them. That's only 71. This army should be more than competent enough to defend against that. Okay, cool. I'm quite happy with that. Wow, we can actually get some pretty decent upgrades here. Oh, we can get some cavalry. 900. Skirmishes. I might get rid of one of these mercs then. We're already going to sit here for a turn. Let's get one of them. And now we're making 312. It's freed that up. Perfect. Perfecto. We've got some unassigned skills. I'm going to have to quickly double check the Civil War as well. We don't want that sneaking up on me. Uh, what do we want to go with here? Authority, that's fine. Chance of Civil War, 7%. We're going to have to save up to secure his loyalty. But he might very well die in the next turn. So we'll see if Pano gets taken. And they've pulled out. Perfect. My spy has now recovered. Faction arises. Okay. Well, we're going to continue upon our initiative. Push north here now. We're going to swing Dionysus back. And we're going to disband those units. We don't need them. We might keep the Samnites. Oh, I might keep the Samnites there. But we'll get rid of everyone else. We'll save this money for next turn so we can... So we can uh, secure that loyalty. But we're not looking too bad. Do Carthage want to have a peace treaty now? No, they're not interested. Does Agragas want to join this war? Low. Do you want a military alliance now? No. So we still only have sort of this bottom of Italy in the known world. Let's uh, end the turn and continue. We'll push up and take that sort of border town. Masani. Messani. Okay, whoa, the Helvetii, what? A migrating tribe of the Helvetii have invaded this region. <laughs> okay, okay. I think they're coming down to Sicily. How have I encountered the Helvetii? What? How was that possible? Are they like a horde I faction, are they? They declared war on me? Ha! <laughs> Um, okay. That's got to do something with, um, early access, I imagine. Regardless, let's push and take another Agragon territory. Ooh. Okay. Not as much as I would have liked. My spy is now back here. Fan bloody tastic. They're on forced march. Damn it. We might just have to pull out here and wait. Regardless, we need to keep an eye on this, and we need to secure loyalty. Zero now. Four. Yep, yeah, good. You just need to keep an eye on that, so you need to keep your money in the bank. You can suicide them. That does help. Okay, so if I go with a forced march... Uh, yeah, you can't do that. I can hit this, though. Nine, and then whatever's in there, twelve. We're not at full strength, though. However, they're at a forced marched. Let's just do it. We can move out. Ooh, okay. Now, we'll try and swing you around into it if we can. You're not going to get here. In time. Damn you! Right, okay. They're in a forced march. So that's really going to hamper them. I don't think sieging and giving them a turn is probably going to help. I reckon we'll have to play this one. It's still pretty much in our favour. Looking at that, we should have... The hoplites. Three, six, eight. Four light. One cav. Oh, we've got our own cav now. So we're coming. Yeah, we'll fight this one. We'll face against Hermocrates. Hermocrates. Okay, we are outnumbered by about 500 men. So we're coming up against his elite unit. Two units of light hoplites, three units of spear militia, one unit of archers, two units of Greek slingers, and three Sicilian peltasts. In the garrison army, two hoplites, one light, two militia, abundance of archers, and then they've got some 
naval units. So let's fight this one on the field of battle here today. Dionysus is going to be attacking Agragon. There shouldn't be too many archer towers either. We do have cavalry supremacy, so we should be able to flank behind them. These hoplites are battle hardened now somewhat. Two, three chevrons here and there. But we're better off fighting this now while they have that forced march, which gives you... I don't know exactly. I know it's debuffs. I think it's debuffs for maybe morale and attack. Um, I'm not exactly sure. But once we've gotten rid of Agragon, we can unite Sicily under one banner. It's been an interesting sort of playthrough. We allied with Agragon and Acragon. We threw out the Carthaginians together. And then the Carthaginians were like, you know what, stuff Sicily. We can leave that to the Sicilians. We might have a better time fighting against a non-united Sardinia and Corsica. Okay, so how are we best to push for this? Probably through here is a nice pathfinding. Straight through the breach as well. Hearsay and hearsay. Okay, so let's break up into a couple of packs. So pack four can come through here. Uh, let's push two through the front. Another lot through here. Mm, uh, probably, and probably like these blokes from this side. I think I'm quite happy with that. Archers, you're more than welcome just to hang out here. Arc your shot up and over these buildings is probably our best bet. Go with a heavy sh... Oh, okay, they don't have that. Okay, that sucks. Alright. I was going to say go with heavy shot if you can, but you can't. Right, we'll move Dionysus here. Cavalry-wise, we're probably better off coming this way. Sitting here in the trees, maybe hidden, might be a good idea. Uh, can we do that? Yep, perfect. We'll keep the cavalry here in the trees. Form up for an a formation. And then what we'll do, if there's amphibious landing, we'll go through here. So we'll have a quick look at our units. So here are the mercenaries we've recruited. And then some of our own. So I imagine these are the mercenary equites. Roman descent. Looking for a little bit of coin. They're sure gonna they're surely gonna get it here today. So here are our militia hoplites. Pretty stock standard. Volcano in the background. Cool, cool. Pushing on now, we'll have a look at Dionysus and our new hoplite units. So here they are. This is what we're going to be working with. Cavalry at the back as well. Archers. And where is he? Dionysus. He's not here. Oh, there he is. Dionysus, the man, the myth, the legend. The man to unify Sicily. Here today, hopefully. Archers, make ready. Okay, let's start the battle. Quickly pause, double time. You two push here. You two push here. Okay, go, 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 gadget. Swing it this way. Archers! Push for here. Ah, can shoot into this. You can push through the gap here. And then you blokes. Double time. Cavalry, just chill. Okay, so what have they done? They've put a hell of a lot of units at the front here. We'll see how they operate. Okay. I thought they would have been putting them all through this corridor. No matter, we can regroup like this and make something work. So they're clustering here. We'll chuck two here. And then we'll chuck two here. And it doesn't look like they're coming around the back there. Okay. Push for it, lads. Give them hell. Skirmish mode. Okay, so let's try and draw up some battle lines. So they're not going to go through there quite well. Okay. So... Maybe try and push like that. You hit that. And then you try and get here or here. If that's going to work. Archers. 
Uh, try and hit something here. Maybe their archers. Maybe hit these guys around the back. That's what I'm concerned about more than anything. You guys, I want to try and get you two here if I can. Or maybe like get one to go here, screen, while you swing around the back. But there's no reason why you can't intercept this. And then put some damage on these guys at the back. Uh, we're going to need my cavalry in here quick, fast. We can open up here in the breach. Uh, well, yeah, well, you push for this. And get these guys around the back. I think that's what we're better off to work with. Get my cavalry to start harassing their skirmishes as quickly as possible. And we'll move my skirmishes here or something. That might be a good idea. Okay. If they are going to allow us to flank, I'm going to do it. Okay, cavalry. Hit these guys. Okay, so we're slowly engaging. You can hold you up. You swing around this way. Yeah, hit this. You hit this. Maybe get some flanks. You can hit that just fine. You can come around the back and deal with them. You, you could very well come over here. Hit them. They're going to swing around and go straight for the town square. And how are these guys pushing here? We're actually getting funneled here a bit. I probably shouldn't have committed that many. We're getting hit on the boat here. Okay, how well are we doing? They're alright. They're alright. Okay, they're buckling there. That's fine. Deal with that. Uh, you need to come deal with this. We've got their backs turned. That's alright. Is my front line buckling? No, it's theirs. Okay, these guys are going to make it their way to the general. We might even be able to surround the bloody general. Alright, push, push where you can. Yeah, these guys have been tied up. Focus on that. Okay, cool. I think everything seems to be working relatively. We can probably push up and throw down some buffs. Okay, that's gone now. Engage you. Somehow flank. If we can form up with my cavalry, the men are wavering. Where? Oh, here. Why and how? They shouldn't be. We just need to get some hammer and anvil strikes on. Right, come on, pivot. Pivot around here. Get around them. Get around them. That's all right. Get stuck in here on the flank. Okay, now we've been surrounded here. Which is not good. Uh, so we'll pull one of them out. Hit that. Hmm. You can't go further. Oh, God. If you guys can, like, hide... God, they've soaked up some damage. They can hide there. That'd be perfect. And then get you to come out. And then you surround like that. Okay. Uh, I guess continue. Start getting some strikes on you. Perfect. You've nearly been run down. Alright, let's get this charge in. Let's break the enemy! Spears up nice and high, lads. A thousand denarii for the enemy king. And a thousand acres while we're at it. Fuck it. Right. Pull out and let's try again. Did that work? Oh, perfect. We just caught it in time. Alright, let's try again. Let's go two for two. Come on now. Sunny Jim. Alright, how's this front line going? Alright. Um, let's bring in the general. Alright, continue to put some pressure on these guys. Alright, how well is this going here? Alright. Our, general Our general's under attack, that's alright. 
Well, maybe not. Maybe swinging this way. He's going to probably cop too much damage. Swift melee cavalry. All right, fall out with my cavalry. We'll try again. Pfft, their general's holding out. Ready for orders. The You're At your service. Ready. All right, come on, cab. Let's get in here. Riders. You want to try and get their general dead? Swing around, hit them. They're actually doing really well in this fight. It's the bloody skirmishes. Come on, we need to kill their general. They're buckling now, good. Alright, come on. Hit them. How are we going? Oh, good, they're broken. Alright, come on. Keep it up. Yep, good, 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 good. Now we've got some proper cavalry here. Because those guys were acting like shit. Okay, how are our. Oh, our front line's not doing too well here. I think it's the Peltasts. I think the Peltasts are just ripping through our heavy armor. I think that's probably what's doing it. If we can kill their general, that'll be good. What's this wayward shot here? We're going to get a good cavalry charge here now. 120 before the initial charge. I allow them to take some. And then fall back. Yeah, that was a lot better. But still, that general unit is pretty buffy. Okay, these archers are just going to keep on rinsing us, so you can move out of there. And we might just try and get our archers to pepper them. Right, let's go with another strike, if we can get their jet... Man, my front line's just gone, that's mad as. These guys are now buckling as well. I think it must be to, must be to do with the Peltasts. Because these missile units are just wrecking me. There's no way... The casualties we've sustained here are replicated of that order resolve. No way. It's the skirmishes. That's what's doing it. Because we've basically nearly lost our army. Well, let's try again. It just shows you how weak these guys are. As in the light ones. Alright, let's come on. We got them good, good, good. Right, come out and meet them then. Before they take ground. We've nearly got the town square under our control. My general's far enough away not to deal with those. So, uh, come out here, archers. There's one, there's a unit coming around the back. I can see it. Okay, we got the town square. So, General, now uh, we can get him to run down some of this stuff. Continue to hit them. There's a. Oh, it's only a uh, archer unit. That's alright. That's okay then. Okay, we need to get these spearmen in. Quick, fast. Pfft, they're gone. We might need to get my General in here. As long as we don't lose the entirety of any unit, we'll be right. Alright. We're actually better off allowing cavalry to run them down. Because my spearmen are exhausted. And they just keep on getting pinned down. Okay, archers probably maybe push into the town square. Allow my cavalry to help out. Continue to deal with these slingers, that's alright. Man, archers did so well. I can't wait to have a look at the casualties sustained and casualties, uh, casualties inflicted for them. Um, let's fall out now. While we move my archers in to help out. Man, this is a bloody affair. I'm not even going to lie. 
The enemy general is dead. Huzzah! Finally! Thank the gods. Cavalry circ surrounding them now. There he is! Dionysus! Alright. Got a hoplite ca uh, challenge charge coming in now. Break him, bring him down, bring him down. This all could have been stopped. If you just accepted my military alliance. That's all you had to do. Oh, those guys being impenetrable didn't help either. Right, we've got them on the ropes here now. There's no way they're coming back from this. Let's swing around the back and deal with them. Wow, okay, what the fuck? How did my cavalry just break? Oh well, we're gonna have to really get my general in on this. Maybe it's not... Maybe we're not down at... Maybe it's not down, done and dusted just yet. Hit him around the back. Then quickly go back over here. So they're disembarking. Bloody crikey, alright. Swing into the town square. They're broken. Meet these guys on the beachhead. Come on. Draw your short swords, men. No pissing about with longbows. Let's carve them up on the beach. Send them to hell, or worse. Hades, I guess. Come on, let's run him down. Send him to Hades and his golden chariot. He'll be coming up from the underground at any moment. But victory! Huzzah! Costly victory, I know, I know. Man. It was those Peltasts, wasn't it? Holy crap! Right, so Dionysus deployed 2,519, lost 1,881. We did kill 2,003 of them. 2,703. Hermocles, Hermocrates, deployed 3,180 and lost 2,793. There... Wow, okay, so their, their general unit didn't do too bad, 94. Their light hoplites did 16, 28. Their militia hoplites did 16, 4, 9. One unit of archers did a whopping 213, while between three Peltast units did about 600 kills. Now, I... it's... wow, okay. It's just those Peltasts, so they just absolutely ripped through me. It's because Peltasts have really high damage sort of armor stuff. <laughs> Dionysus, 353 kills. <laughs> My cavalry, 264. The Roman Equites only got 49, which kind of sucked. But regardless, we've probably destroyed Agragon now. And then we can look to taking Agregat. One unit of Hoplites has fallen and two archers. So those were those Peltasts. How did these other guys do? Uh, not as much. Right, let's uh, occupy the city now. Nice, Dionysus. Excellent stuff. Okay, we've taken the settlement now. Push up where we can. Uh, that's a lot better. We might ought to resolve that one. I don't know where the other army pissed off to. Let's just ought to resolve this one. Excellent stuff. A Zeus! <laughs> the Thunder God. Okay, let's occupy now. And is that... Is that them defeated? Agragon. No, they're down here. With what? Oh, okay. 
a rather large force. Navy-wise, we could recruit and push against them. We could let them rot and attack, so then we have to allow them here. It's probably not a bad idea, getting some more mercs. Just for... Just that little bit sweet on the order resolve. But, we've nearly got the entirety of Sicily under our control. We still need to take out Agrigas. But we've taken the northern part here now. Unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. A huge thank you to the Creative Assembly once more for providing me with early access for Rise of the Republic and uh, Rise of the Republic <laughs> and uh, allowing this Let's Play to be possible. Stay tuned for more Syracuse campaign on the channel. We're going to probably deal with Agragon, the last of them in the, in the next episode. We'll push against Agragas, and then we've got the entirety of Sicily under our control. Then the world will be our oyster. We're still at war with the Helvetii. God knows how or why. Why do they hate me so much? I don't know. <laughs> but regardless, I imagine, once we've got the entirety of Sicily, we'll have a military powerhouse to actually push Carthage in North Africa. But it does look like They've taken back some territory in Corallus, the Sardinian natives. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. These days, to get all the notifications for the channel, you have to click the bell, of course, to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys would like to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. Maybe you can pick up a strategy game you haven't picked up just yet. Maybe Hearts of Iron, maybe Crusader Kings 2, maybe a Total War. Check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below for cheap and reliable games. I do recommend going and checking out the prices even. There's some really good prices on there. Patreon and merchandise link in the description below, along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching once again. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Go out and have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been CMC. Goodbye. Really close cinematic shots here, pushing through the bridge. Oh, look at... <laughs> that was probably the shot of the video there.